On Airline Tonight, there's a bad start to the weekend. Are you telling me my stuff's offloaded? No, but are you telling me my stuff's offloaded? A bad finish to the weekend. I um, broke, dislocated my leg, broke my femur and fractured my pelvis in two places. And a song for Katrina. Come fly with me, let's fly, let's fly away If you can use some exotic booze There's a bar in far Bombay Come fly with me, let's fly, let's fly away Friday night, the busiest time of the week at Luton Airport over 4,000 people travelling home or going away for the weekend. A group of friends travelling to Aberdeen for a lads' weekend have become separated. Three of them checked in, but two arrived late. If I can't hear my name being called once and it goes, I will sue this company. Sydney has come back from departures to help the latecomers who are not being allowed to fly. We could just all go through with the luggage if you just gave us no, a ticket, but none of you, you want to do that. No, no, we won't do it because, because someone's just told you not to do it because you want to That's be because really because they're awkward. in charge there, not because they've just told us not to no, do it. No, I know you're charge. doing what you're told. I know, I know you're doing what you're told. Yeah, we will. We will. We will. You've offloaded yourself. Now, Sydney's told that by leaving departures, he also faces missing the flight. Are you telling me my stuff's offloaded? Are you telling me my stuff's offloaded? No, but are you telling me my stuff is offloaded? No, I didn't, because I instructed the lady, and the lady gave me permission to come back through with a ticket. To get us. Well, you're saying my ticket's offloaded? Speak to the supervisor. There's too many people trying to make it's my ticket. No. Oh, you don't know? Okay, I don't see it's offloaded. How long have we been standing here? 20 minutes. 20 minutes we've been standing here. We could have been on this. Kirsty has called in supervisor Graham Merriman. We want to get on this flight to Aberdeen. Mm -hmm. We were here before it had been called. Guarantee it was here before a call because I just came down from checking. Mm -hmm. right? My jacket's up there. The flight was not here. It was sitting actually at the seats. Everyone's sitting down at the seats. No one's getting on the plane. I've come down here, spoke to the lady at the, okay. your ticket desk to Wait. find out where these two are. Give me two seconds. Time is running out and Graham needs to know just one right. thing. Is Sydney flying or not? Hold on for two seconds. OK, do you, have your, do you have your bank details with you? I do. I'll I have mine. What do you need my bank details for? You're going to offload me? Well, if you're not going on the flight, they're going to be offloading you, yeah. Are you not going to let these two on the flight? They have been refused to go on the flight. But they were here in plenty of time. I'm not I'm going to get into the... Basically, the bottom line is, yeah. if you want to travel, you have yeah. a boarding pass. Yep. Yeah. If you wish to travel, you need to go down to the aircraft. If you don't want to travel, then we're going to offload you. Sydney decides to leave his two friends. It's the last flight to Aberdeen. But he's too late. The flight is leaving. The only hope is for all three to try and get seats on another flight to Scotland. In Liverpool, Supervisor Sarah Tier is facing a sticky situation. We've got a possible wee problem on the Malaga flight going out. And it could be possibly only be able to take 125 passengers. And we've got 143 on the flight. Sarah doesn't know how big the incoming plane is. How many have we checked in? 112, so it wouldn't be long. All right, then. Bye. Passengers still don't know they may not be able to fly. It's bad news. The plane's landed, and it's not big enough to take everyone. Stop boarding. You only let passengers through with boarding cards 1 to 30 and then... The passengers still haven't been told. Under no circumstances. Start boarding them. A bit awkward, like, because we haven't really done an announcement to say that they mightn't be able to travel. We're just going to start doing the first 100. And I think they're going to go back to us and just basically see how it goes. They're just waiting, prob probably right now, they're just waiting on the wait figures at the moment. So we still got to get the aircraft out, so we've got to obviously start boarding. Otherwise, it's going to miss its lot. This calls for passengers holding boarding card numbers 125 and upwards, travelling on flight EZY743 to Malaga, to please remain seated. Thank you. All have your passports, so let's get your picture pages, please. The Malaga passengers start to board, unaware that 18 of them will be going nowhere. 
At Luton, Sydney and his friends are still waiting to see if they can get to Scotland tonight. I thought he was going to come back and sort us out with that other flight, because the Glasgow one's just gone now. Yeah, OK. You're on the, basically... Yeah. If you go on the Glasgow flight, you're going to end up being delayed, so I'll put you on the Edinburgh flight, which goes at 8.50. Yeah. All right. So there is another Glasgow flight that goes at 9, but this is going to get you in early than the Glasgow flight. OK, fine. All right. We've chose Edinburgh. We're looking at a three-and-a-half-hour drive to Aberdeen. And then another drive hour from now, I was going to pick up a rental from Aberdeen, so pick up a rental from Edinburgh. No difference. Only difference is going to be is we're going to get into uh, Banff, where we live. It's one o'clock in the morning. And some. So no time in the pub for young lads tonight. It's a bad start to the lads' weekend. Back in Liverpool, it's time for Sarah to tell the last Malaga passengers they're not going anywhere. The situation is at the moment due to weight restri restrictions and weather conditions, we can't take a full load this evening. But there is compensation for this and you will be refunded for this leg. Off you this letter explains everything in it. You will be offered travel tomorrow. You will also be refunded £100 compensation and £50 if you need... Some passengers can't quite believe their ears. What's the matter? There's weight restrictions, unfortunately. They're not allowing you to travel this evening. We couldn't actually establish this until... Sorry? What else the case is never... We've got all your bags there ready because we, we, we could... We might have been expecting this, but we weren't too sure, so we have put your bags to one side. What the time fair, we fly tomorrow? It'll be 10 past Are you going to compensate us for work as well? Well, um, I, this is just the, wait, the £100 compensation and £50 the hotel That's accommodation. That's compensate my bar, not opening, love. Wait a second. Is the flight taking off? It's going, yeah, but it can't... It, due yeah, to, but it, I, want, I want a seat. Unfortunately, they're not allowing everyone to travel. No, but I want to see. You, you, unfortunately, you can't get on board that aircraft. It'd be too dangerous to take all the passengers. And the passengers who booked in first were given priority. That's the fairest way they could do it, unfortunately. It's a standoff. This is disastrous. It's due to the weather conditions, they can't put as much fuel on board because of the wet weather, you see. When is it tomorrow? Can you buzz yeah. through and see if anybody's less bothered about getting to the, over tonight than now? They're probably not going to do that. Yeah, well, can you just do it, please? Oh, yeah, yeah, unfortunately, all the way to the You can ask for the cats. I don't think so. Okay, Tom. Go on. Malaga. Okay, is it possible you can ask the captain to do an announcement on board to see if anyone's willing to go off as a trade pace with this gentleman? Well, you can't do that. You can't leave people stuck in a flaming airport. Offer this and then say, oh, dear, we're going to put it back into your account. That's no good to me. I have no checkbook with me, no card with me. He's not, he's not authorised me to organise accommodation. Well, I'm afraid you're going to have to get onto someone a bit higher then and find out what the hell they can do, because that's no good to me. Yeah. Right, that. Can't board, though. That's not going to pay for what I've lost on customers going in. My pub's not going to open tomorrow now. So. I'm doing a PA on board and no one's offered to come off the flight, so. The unlucky 18 all flew the next morning. They did get quite a good deal, really. They got £100 compensation, a refund from the flight, and they got £50 towards hotel accommodation. So I think that sort of softened the blow. But there was only the two, really, who were, who were upset. Everyone else seemed to take it in the stride. There's been an emergency call from an incoming Geneva flight. An ambulance has been called to meet the plane. And Supervisor Lian Chung is on her way to help. I'm not too sure what, what it's all about, to be honest. We were only informed of it about 10 minutes ago. The cause of the alarm is injured passenger John McKeever, who will need lifting from the plane. It was a snowboarding accident. I um, broke, dislocated my leg, broke my femur and fractured my pelvis in two places. Three hours, uh, I made three hours on the slope, so. John's mother had to make a mercy dash to pick him up from hospital in Geneva. So what was he snowboarding and fell or...? Yeah. Well, he yeah. came off a slope. Were you there? Went... No, we had to fly out to meet him. No. <laughs> Broken bones aren't John's only problem. The gentleman never took any insurance out, so it's actually cost him £2,500 for all his medical fees, and it cost him £600 to get from the piece to 
the um, hospital because he never took any insurance and he said he got it up on the internet and it was £19 and he decided not to take it. John's recovery will take eight weeks, more than enough time to count the cost of his three hours on the piste. After the break, new recruit Natalia runs into trouble. Don't worry, it's fine. Um, Next um, one will be you need to, you know, you'll be fine. And there's friction at the sales desk. Get me the senior EasyJet person here now. It won't make any difference. I don't care. Get them here now. Two weeks ago, EasyJet took on new staff. Natalia Byrne was marked down as a future star. But lately, things haven't been going so well. I'm very nervous, really. Yeah, thank you. Because I'm, no, I'm terrified of making a mistake. Um, and sort of like all eyes is on everybody who's starting new, so. Yeah, I want to get more practice, but I need a few dummies actually before I deal with the bag. Nevertheless, after two weeks' training, Natalia is still determined to stick with it. I'm going to really, really give it a good shot because, like, it is like it is a very, very good. It is a good company, and it absolutely, it's got a lot of good ideas. I'll be sort of glad once the training's completely over and. You know, I can give it a few weeks or so to see how I'm actually doing, performing on the job. Today, trainees are dealing with the public for the first time. Hello. Hello. How are you? Initially, trainees just watch and learn, but soon it will be their turn. Um, if I do anything, just, just keep asking questions because yeah. I'm not very good at explaining things. No, I'll, I'll sometimes try. it's best just watch and I yeah. would, you know, okay. be more of a visual person. Yeah. yeah, that's fine, just ask anything. Meanwhile, over at the sales desk, there's some potential entertainment. Katrina has just seen a rock band. They're quite light. I recognise you from somewhere. I'm trying to think where I recognise you from. We're a band. A band called Meridian. Oh, stupid. <laughs> We're there, like, that's us. Where'd you find that name? Are you one of the same Kaylee? Yeah. 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 So you're older than you look. Yeah. No, I put it on, on one of those now tapes. So would I be privileged enough to get a little tune or not? A tune? A few little words. Yeah. A few little... Four hours sleep. Katrina tries bribery. I might try and sort out of UX's baggage. <laughs> oh, no, yeah, we could, we could be talking about it. <laughs> and it works. We did two shows in Rotterdam. And do you sing live? Of course yeah. I sing live. <laughs> <laughs> Because some of these boy bands, don't you see? Well, we're not a boy West... band, are we? I know we look like You're one. You're right, yeah. The band have sold over 14 million records. So do you busk? Not for about 20 years, yeah. <laughs> not everyone is as relaxed as Marillion. Traffic delays have caused chaos. I was due on the Aberdeen flight, which I believe is delayed. Mr Hutchins phoned the terminal to say he was delayed and was told there shouldn't be a problem. Thanks to go any minute now. I, I was told it was delayed by an hour when I rang up about 20 minutes ago. Sandeep Jamal calls dispatch to see if the delayed flight will accept Mr Hutchins, who's now been joined by another late passenger. Oh, the aircraft's here, so I can't do it. All right, then, lovely. Cheers, bye. Yeah, that is a negative on the Aberdeen. The aircraft's already here. They don't tell you that. No, because the aircraft's here, they won't accept any LMCs. Yeah. Well, no, so I've got a booking, and I've got a confirmed ticket, I've paid Because the check is closed. Even though it is delayed, the aircraft is now landed, so they won't accept you. Where is this customer empathy and helping the customer? What it is, is even though the aircraft is delayed, you still have to check in on time. Get me supervisor now, please. Get me the senior EasyJet person here now. It won't make any difference. I don't care. Get them here now, please. But why didn't you check in on time? What? Because I've been stuck on the trains and I cannot be in two places at once. I've, I've tried being schizophrenic yeah, in two places at once. So I'm here as fast as possible for the traffic. I'm like, the no, other gentleman's been yeah, stuck with traffic. Enough. Not everyone is so stressed. All over the world in 80 days. It's a small but appreciative audience for a band that have played in front of thousands.
on your band. <laughs> really good. That's really impressive. The impromptu concert saved a small fortune in excess baggage. I'm sure my mum and dad would know more about them than what I remember, but I'm 26, you know. They're sort of like 1970 odds, I think they said. Meanwhile, Natalia is finding her first shift a little less entertaining. There's your boarding pass number, OK? Have a nice flight. So you need to tell her. Gate 1B at 10 OK. Right. OK. And as she struggles, upstairs her EasyJet future is under discussion. I've still got some concerns. As you know, we've spoken about um, a few members in the group, and, yeah. but Natalia has come to my attention again, so I just obviously wanted some feedback from you. It has been, become obvious to, to a number of people that she hasn't bonded with them. Mm -hmm. Now, that's, this has been over two weeks. That's what right. we have to think about is the passengers see her for maybe a minute, two minutes at the most. And Natalia is beginning to have doubts of her own. It's one of these companies that's really into teamwork, so sort they're of Americanized, you know, eat it, live it, everything like that, which is good, but at the same time, you need your own life. At the sales desk, Supervisor Jane Mararu has just told Mr Hutchins he will definitely not be flying to Aberdeen. I've been here for 15 minutes right. trying to get on that aeroplane, and despite that, you are not letting me on right. an aeroplane which is here. Let me explain. First of all, I believe Becky tried to get you on the aircraft, yeah? I have There's just again... I have just again phoned my dispatcher downstairs in our dispatch office and said, please, 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 is there, is there any, any way is there at any all... Is, this, is the plane full? I don't know, sir. All I'm we're asking is simply, if the plane sit on the ground and there's, and seats, there's, seats, there's seats on the pole, yeah. which we've paid for, yeah. is it, instead of standing here chatting... It's out of our hands, yeah. We, when we have late passengers, we call the necessary people on the dispatch department, we talk to the captain and he ultimately makes the decision. And well, he has said no. Um, I don't know, because well, I've just come out. down here to talk to you right now. When was the captain talking? Because we were here at half past. The passengers don't believe Jane. Having got here, we're told the flight's delayed an hour. So right, go to the check, go to the other desk, and then you get a whole stream of conflicting information about where you are. And while you're frittering around waiting, you know somebody with a bit of logic could have slid you through the system. You've got a plane sitting on the runway, which isn't due to take off for another half an hour. No, no, by, it's not. By your, by your it's own estimated time. By yeah, your own always, people's comments. That's why we always say it's estimated, sir, though, because it's not... Got, it's, I think it's gone now. I think it's pushed back and gone. The doors have closed. It's been here. It got, it got on the ground, I think, at 22, 25 two. I'm not 100% sure on that because I need to check that out. So, obviously, with the delay, it's always... Well, that's why we say estimated, because it changes. But a phone call from a colleague of Mr Hutchins is badly timed for Jane. John, hold on a sec. This passenger mm -hmm. is flying on your aeroplane. Right. He's not even on the aeroplane. As I've said, sir, they've, they've made a decision. The captain you has said, said the air... You said it's been pulled back. I thought it had, this sir. I said I need to the shovel check. This guy yeah. is sitting right. 100 yards away. There's you no point. I why said, you, I, said I believe it's pushed back, yeah. and I would need to double-check that. There's no point in arguing over and over again. Your, well, don't tell me a lie. Your no, credibility has gone straight lied. through. You I, said, don't call me a liar. You said it pulled don't back. Don't call me a liar. You said the aeroplane... Do not call me a liar, please. Did you or did you not say the aeroplane pulled back? I said I believe back? they would have pushed back and closed the doors. Who's the customer and who's the service yes, provider but here? I'm not going to stand here and just be called a liar. This gentleman... I am here. I've come to try and help you. This gentleman interpreted what you, you said to me... i and I'm trying to do everything I can to help me. Please do not call me a liar, sir. OK? Please do not call me a liar. What are you if you are not... Do not call me a liar, please. I'm not going to ask again. Right. If you continue okay. to, I shall just go away. I will not away. call you a liar. However, I find it strange that this gentleman interpreted what you said to me in the same way right. I did. I said I believe it probably pushed back. Now the only option is to fly to Edinburgh instead. I think at the end of the day, we've basically got two passengers that are going to eventually calm down and realise that we did everything we could to help them because they were the ones that were late. So, you know, we can only try and do our best. Unknown to Natalia, supervisors Joe Harrison and Debbie Clark have come to a conclusion. I think we're going to have to have to make, take the decision that yeah, we're going to have to let her go. Okay. It's not going to be nice, but... They've decided Natalia is not enough of a team player. Today will be her last day at the airport. As another flight leaves, heavy traffic is still delaying passengers. Sorry, I just called the lady from the bus. 
uh, we were like an hour mm. late so for what flight? For Geneva, and it, she said it's 45 minutes late. Theo calls dispatch to see if extreme skier Matt Reardon can board the flight to Geneva. It doesn't look good. There's a reason why I guess check-ins close like 20, 20 minutes, half an hour before flight, and that's the biggest degree of wise. There's no way that we can pull this together because it's, we have 45 minutes before the plane leaves, and I'm sitting right here. They won't allow any more passengers. Before yourself, before you came here, they refused other passengers as well, so... Matt isn't happy that the sales team are being persuasive enough. Wait, you gotta do better than that, man. The plane's here, it's not a big deal. Can I use your phone and talk to this lady? Uh, Maybe I'll explain the situation. Which Would you just be very nice? Whoever you just talk to. Even though if you I mean, we can get I'll be very polite, and you'd be amazed at what I can pull off. You'll be amazed. A little bit of politeness, a little bit of. Let the gentleman talk to the lady. Yeah, at least give me a try. He thinks he can do better, and he's got a plan. Use the force, you know, like Obi Wan Kenobi. Hi, good evening. Um, listen, when I was on the bus on the way here, I called to let him know that I was going to be an hour late, and she explained to me that it was okay. That uh, it was actually 45 minutes late. The plane is here. I'm here. I'm just wondering how we can alleviate this. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Thank you. The sales team are doubtful the force will work on dispatch. Okay. Thank you. And they're right. It's worth a try. No, no love. Not in Luton, anyway. Natalia left EasyJet that evening and has since started a teaching job. John McKeever is now back at work, designing aircraft interiors. And on his flight from Scotland, Sydney's luggage was damaged. Come fly with me, let's fly, let's fly away. If you can use some exotic there's a bar in far Bombay.